What's going on guys? All right, so right now I'm actually driving to the gym uh, to meet up with Doug. We're gonna do a shoulder workout video for you guys. Um, it's gonna be a little different, uh, different exercises, different things. Um, I'm actually off today from work and um, I decided I put something together for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you do enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe now. Just got to the gym and um, as you can see right here, that's Doug's new car. So I know he's already inside. I'm a little bit late. He's probably pissed. And now I'm doing this video, so he's probably even more pissed. But that's his new car, y'all. That shit is sick. Yo, what's going on, D Bros Network? I'm taking over the channel today. It's your boy. You already know. It's Doug Sensor Martin. Dennis is uh, a bitch. Dennis is not a bitch, actually. But <laughs> You guys are going to see after I do my set of push-ups and my pull-ups. Um, we'd really like to warm up with that. As you guys can tell, we always do the pulls, push-ups, and dips. I've been training with Dennis for about two or three years now. And uh, that's just the way we like to get the blood flow in our body. And obviously, Dennis likes to power through it a lot faster than I do. He's like a freaking jackrabbit I mean, over I'm here. a beast, so man, different story. But uh, me and Doug met uh, at the gym. We actually worked together. We did front desk together, and we used to work out all the time. So that's where I know Doug from. And uh, we got really close over the years. Um, and we just used to work out. We used to do different things and stuff like that. So here we're just doing pull-ups. Um, it's, it's a little bit long and it really cuts it out. But. Yeah, it's all good. So as you guys can tell, me and Dennis met through the gym. We met through LA Fitness. It's crazy. I, I don't think I've ever said that before. If you guys didn't know that, um, yeah, now you guys know. So if you guys didn't know, we're going to be doing shoulders in this workout. And anytime I do any exercise, doesn't matter what it is. It could even be abs. I can go into the gym and just do abs. Always love to hit three sets of the bar, pull-ups, push-ups, dips. If you can't get the pull-ups, I say it so many times, just try to do as many as you can, even if you can't even pull yourself up, because eventually you're going to get it, and then you'll be able to make a shitting-looking face like I, I am right for, now. I do it for legs, too. I do, I do that one. Yeah, I do it for everything. Look at my face, dude. I know, word. I don't know why you're I make that noises face. too, so I removed the audio. Bro, dude, chill. It was so funny. Chill. <laughs> All right, so right here, we kind of started late, uh, but we were doing like in, uh, in front of the head and behind the head, and I like doing that too because it incorporates our uh, rear delts, uh, and that definitely feels uh, really good with the muscles. And um, here, here, this is a really lightweight. We're just warming up with this, but. Yeah, you already know, dude. Dennis could definitely handle this. He could probably do 100 reps of this. Yeah, I'm a beast, so I can't really like help it. But. You guys saw the difference in my face and his face? He's got this, dude. I don't want to wear a tank top because I don't want to show Doug up, so that's why I'm wearing the, the short sleeve shirt. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, as he said, we did 10 reps on each one, so it was front and back, and then you guys are just going to see a skip forward because we don't want to bore you to death. We started out with one plate, I think, after this, or this might have actually been our third or fourth set. Yeah, we did like four sets on this, yeah. Yeah, so we started really light. We hit the rear delts and the front delts, and then as we started to get heavier, it's really dangerous to go behind your neck. Yeah. I mean, if you really wanted to, if you can handle this weight, you can go behind your neck when you're doing these rear delt military presses, but I, I like to stay away from it. Anything over a plate, I really don't like to go behind my head. Yeah, especially, like, definitely get a spot when you're doing this, too, because when I went to, like, put the weight back, like, on my first set, bro, I really hurt my neck. And um, it's kind of still tweaking right now, too, so just be careful uh, when you're, like, turning your head with that much weight on it, especially with the barbell. The Smith machine is a little bit more safer. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing the barbell, definitely try out the Smith machine. Good <laughs> dog. See, you almost like no, do you guys see like when I extend all the way to the top, I can barely get it up and over. Uh, that's what Dennis said, but um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> over here uh, we, we just went straight into um, Ar Arnold. Uh, what was it called? Arnold's, right? These are yeah. called Arnold presses, Dennis. Arnold yeah. presses. Uh, I just blanked out really bad, and I like I just had to do this. Look at that too. form, dude. That form. That's some clean form right Look there, for the man. Video, bro. I don't usually do form like that perfectly. I just did it for the video. I was doing legs today in the gym, and Chrissy from A3 was filming for the Instagram. I was doing three plates on squats. I made sure I got the best form I could. I saw that camera to my side. Yeah, I saw it instantly. When the, when the camera goes on, it's like a different story. Yeah, a lot of people probably won't say that too. A lot of people who make fitness videos always try to do the best they can when they're making videos online, but I don't know. Maybe people have good as form as they do online, but I know sometimes I get lazy with my form, I'm not going to lie. The most important thing though is having the consistency and having the habit of going to the gym every single That's day. That's why I like uh, doing exercise in front of the mirror because I definitely uh, could check out my form a little bit better. And uh, right now we were doing uh, like kind of bent over uh, rear delt flies, I, I guess you want to call it. Um, and uh, with this exercise, I definitely like to focus more on the rear delts when, when I'm pulling the weight. Uh, when you focus on the muscle, I feel like you, you definitely get a better burn and a better pump. Yeah, dude, you were killing it. This was a really good exercise, guys. If you want to take a note from our book, this is definitely the way to go. Arnold press is going right into the rear delts, kind of a little bit tilted over, bent over. It's going to make you work. It's going to make you sweat. 
just doing Arnold presses alone, even if you go, like, we're going really light in weight, but even if you start going up in weight with the Arnold presses, maybe if you start on 20s, then 30s, then 40s, or if you're stronger, starting on 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, Little or 80s. striations, kid. Yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta stay on the diet, though, man. It's not gonna help. We're gonna go see this movie tonight. We're gonna go see this movie, Don't Breathe. And I'm, it's called? Yeah, I'm probably gonna know. get some popcorn and, and a soda because that's what I always do whenever I go to the movies. I call it the blind movie. Yeah, go get an extra, extra large popcorn. Nah, no, I don't. And I just he, got a large, he, dude. And, and he gets uh, an extra large drink and he, he finishes it halfway through the movie. Yeah, no, I don't. I never and, finish and I the drink. Dude. I literally get a small popcorn and I don't even get it. I get a water, bro. You smuggle a water in there, don't you? Or like, uh huh? You smuggle a water in. Yeah, don't I smuggle you? a he water. He doesn't pay for the water. I'm not trying to cheap. pay six dollars for a water, guys. To be honest, that's how they make their money, though, dude. They don't make their money. money of everything else. We should really support all those tickets. Sales, if you guys didn't know, I think all the ticket sales for movies, most of them go to the people who made the movie. Ticket sales don't make theaters money. I think it's just the. Uh, it's always from the popcorn and the soda. The condiment, and condiments. Yeah, condiments. Yeah, I think that's the name of them. Yeah. We're getting off track, so now we're doing some cable raises out to the side, trying to hit the side. There's two different ways you could do this, and I kind of changed it up in the middle. You might see it. Um, right now, I'm just kind of going straight out, but you could also do this at your rear delts if you kind of just like. Keep your arm on a curve and bend it out all the way. We could probably do another video explaining it, but you guys can see I'm kind of working my rear delts as I do this and the top of my shoulder, the straightaway delts, front ahead, and the rear delts. But this is just trying to get a burn after we did the military presses and the Arnold presses. Those are two really good exercises. My favorite is the military. Yeah. But after you do two big presses with dumbbells and, and a bar, you really want to try to get some sort of a cable or a burner. At least that's what I found works for me. Yeah, so we definitely hit all aspects of the um, muscle at this point, uh, especially with the presses, and then we did some lateral raises over here. Uh, this is a good good workout too, definitely. And uh, really, the muscle that you focus on is the one that's being trained, basically. You know what I mean? Because this hits traps too at the same time. This does, yes. Yeah. And basically, if you hit some sort of a front raise, there's like a lot of different variations. You could do this with dumbbells. You could do this with the cable. You could do a front raise with dumbbells. You could do a front raise with cables. We decided to just do a pull up at the end with the superset with a bar, uh, just because I felt that we did a lot before this and we were killing it. So. Yeah, and I always superset too because I definitely think supersets are, are awesome. Uh, it definitely keeps your heart rate up, and you know, you know, it just uh, it's muscle confusion basically, which is why I like doing that. Yeah, but then sometimes when you do a lot of supersets, you want to change it up too. But I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I can't. Yeah. What I did he say to you? He said something to you. I had to cut that out. He just asked me if he could go on the machine. Oh, all right, where, where? Yeah. I couldn't hear him. He was like, to like mumbling. No, he's a nice guy, man. Word. Really nah, he nice was nice. Guy. He definitely had sunglasses on inside for some reason, but I guess it's just he took them off right when he went over to the side over there. Yeah, I don't like to judge, man. It's a judge-free zone out it's in the gym. I know some not of you guys... It's fitness, but, you know, it is judge-free, you know, when we work out, right? I, I never had this problem, and I know some of you guys out there don't like going to the gym just because you're afraid of people judging you. Definitely, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people in the gym that, um... Do laugh at others, which is definitely messed up. A lot up. of gossip. Everywhere you go, there's always going to be gossip, but you just got to say, fuck this, suck it all up, and then just go out there and get your game. Exactly. And right here, we finished off with some shrugs. Uh, we definitely killed it here. And I like that machine. Not a lot of gyms have that, actually. That's like, oh, definitely old school. I, like I wasn't that. a big fan of that. I like honest. that, bro. I like the other one in the window. Because it's like sure. a lot more balanced, you know what I mean? The other ones are like usually, like, but they both don't move. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Uh, this was the thing I did with Doug. Uh, you know, he just wanted, I don't know, fuck. I fucked up. Alright, so I'm gonna take it over for Dennis because he's not a good YouTuber. He's not at least yet. He wants I'm to get I'm learning, I'm learning, chill. If you guys wanna see more workout videos, let us know in the comments down below. Smash the like button for both of us, for Dennis especially, because yeah. like I said, he needs help. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah, with I'm definitely new and uh you know, D bros definitely need support from you guys. Uh don't judge, no criticism, constructive criticism only. Um but yeah, it's about it. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh leave a thumbs up and yeah, see you guys next time. Shout out to the homie Dan. Yo, Doug, nice car, bro. Thanks, bro. Show us what it got, kid. Right, check this out. This song is actually a banger. I love this song right here. What is this? Uh, Galantis No Money. Oh, I never heard it before. All right, so check it out, guys. Fully loaded Chrysler 300, all-wheel drive, brand new, luxurious leather interior, all black leather, steering wheel. It has a little, so if somebody's calling you, you can answer the call. Look, put it over here. Come over here. Someone's calling me. I got you. Let me answer that. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Hang it up. Just like that. Um, my favorite part about the car is the dashboard. I love the blue. And, uh, yeah. How about the smell? I mean, I'm kind of used to it because I'm always in the car. So I don't really smell That's pretty anymore. cool, too, though. Yeah, this is different. Does yours, yours doesn't have this, does it? Mine has it, like, different. It has, like, knob and I think shit. all the cars are starting yeah. to have this, too. That's what I heard. Yeah, word. But it's fucking nice, kid. Congrats. Thank you, bro. You, too. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're going to go check out uh, a lighting place and see if we can tint out some of the lights on this car. Word. Let's get it.